Raz, he's got a lot of his. I, I was going to yeah, mention the Ember Spirit. Yeah, that's his Ember. Is, his Ember is insane. Yeah. Yeah. You really don't want to. Especially, of course, ACN. I believe. I played any game. Last one, but I didn't think they've had it. They've, they've won. They beat Alliance. Ten seconds remaining. All right, ATN. Radiant team pick. Oh, wrong. First alliance, second. Third, they're out of match. <laughs> Ursaban. Ten. Yeah, seconds well, ATN is T. First pick, Ursa. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. So, but nonetheless, secret banning out. Time. Here are the. Well, I think they first picked it, but they did have Slider and Invoke in it. But it's a hero that's secret. Secret, probably feeling. Rather just tough. The heroes that alternate. Yeah, I think banning comfort heroes whenever yeah. you're playing versus team. That, you know, even even teams you think that are your skill level, I don't think is bad. Uh, a lot of the times, but our here are specialty heroes, but um, especially versus you know teams that you consider to be worse than you are, you know, probably are worse than you. Banning comfort heroes and they're just playing your game. Uh, well, almost always when you use. What what happened to this hero? I mean, it, this seems to be kind of all the rage at, at Star Series. You know, it seems we're looking at it, but. I don't think I've seen it in a single game. Have you seen it in any of the games? I have not seen it in a single game. I don't think I've seen it touched upon in the Pixel Bands in any of the games. I mean, what, why not? Did, did Teach just suddenly go, actually, this hero stinks? Uh, he's, he's really, really one-dimensional. This hero can't make anything happen on the map. Uh, you know, normally whenever you pick an offliner, you picking some axe or some water is sort of falling out with Sand King. Uh, heroes like that, you know, you have sort of jumps, you can do something, you can fight. With low amounts of farm, whereas other Lord is very dimensional. Team he is all one dimensional. He's about we're gonna defend towers. I'm gonna be pretty good in lane, and we're gonna five man you. So when you see an underlord, it sort of fell out of favor in the first two picks. Mostly people see an underlord, and they're like, all right, they're gonna have no catch. We can pick the free carries in the first two, and we can do whatever we want. There's also heroes like Timbersaw, because underlord's laning just got nerfed so much whenever they beat the uh, whatever the aura is into the ground with that massive nerf, taking it from like 20% level one to four percent. So you can take timber heroes like the timber saw, set them one v one, then you have this win range with the dual offline with the centaur, the bounty you can play around mid one, and then you Five have the potential of winning remaining. all three lanes with this hero that doesn't really have a comeback mechanism. He's all about being ahead uh, and Reserve you know forcing objectives. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see normally mid over MP, or does MP play it as well? I think it's typically mid one. It's but... typically mid. But I think whenever you pick a Timber Saw like that, you would, it, it's you won that match. Yeah, it's also Timber Saw versus Invoker is you you want a hero that can pressure the Invoker, especially when you have, when you have a bounty hunter. You want a hero that adds kill potential that yeah. you can. You know, this Invoker's got to play real scared, sort of like in the last game where Firo just has to play like you know, extremely defensive. Um, Timber Saw is one of the heroes that just absolutely crushes Underlord in lane. And Underlord not a hero with burst damage, not a hero who's with very you know scaling damage. His damage stays about the same for the whole game. Um, you know, it's obviously the the Q scales with percentage of HP, but that that's only does so much whenever you've got a hood and Timber is constantly regenerating HP. Team yeah, and indeed, at ATM with that ban, they side lane against the under laners. Uh, big mid lane is still there. If uh, indeed it's going to be an MP Timber and mid one in the mid, yeah, OD still. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Uh, I think they kind of want some kind of right clicker. Uh, yep. Odie wouldn't be that bad. Um, but I think you already kind of have an underlord answer, that, which is sort of what the Odie is. Um, is like an underlord answer because obviously the Arcanor just kind of owns him. I think the Sniper wouldn't be that bad. I think it's a hero that Kurt likes quite a bit. Um, they have the Slaughter for jump, but the Slaughter, I don't think he's going to be having a great game this what about mid one Storm Spirit? Oh, Ooh. very Radiant quick there team. with the pick. Naga coming. Yeah. How, I'll... So how are they going to land this secret? I mean, we we know that it is going to be. While I die, Fort Wim Rain. But the Naga and the Timber, how they, how do you expect them to land this? Uh, I think it's a, I think it's still a mid Naga. Mid Naga. Mid Naga so... does really well versus Invoker. Yeah, you were saying they were able with illusions and such. It's very hard for Invoker to deal with the pressure. Yeah, and uh, I think 
the with the with the poor man's shield, you can yeah, as well as with the Riptide, the Bounty Hunter, Donata works pretty well with that. You can potentially you know, just mess with his invoker and especially if you're harassing him with the bounty hunter, you you know, messing around sniping your core or you get your salve really late. But it's not like a sign, it just allows him to free farm and I think their other lanes will be doing so well, they'll have so much pressure going with the Timber Saw who's gonna have a great time versus the Underlord and even if the Underlord goes will still have a really nice time and then the Wind Ranger star down bottom is a super strong dual lane. I think uh, Secret's lanes Prepare are just set up really, really that. well, and whenever you can't rotate on the song, you can't pressure her early on. She is going to turbo farm, and you know, just cut off your map, and if you look at uh, the alternate attacks heroes, they, they said that's what the Underlord does to you, it gives you no pickoff, and you know, they just have the Slaughter, and you know, even Slaughter, not a great hero against Naga, she has so much armor. Uh, mid one on the Naga, that, but that is, that's not really a hero that we... So shield. Flash you. Uh, storm. One Naga or something. Uh, I don't really think it's a classic, but I think of like a lot of the 9k players who, yeah. you know, typically pl tend to play like, you know, one style or whatever. I think mid one plays like everything. Like, if you look at, you know, watch his stream. This guy, you join the stream, he's just playing support Rubik in a, you know, AK average game. Like, this you know, guy, like, never, uh, he isn't like super grabby about his roles, and I think he plays almost anything as long as he's what's good for the team. I think Naga is definitely very good this game. Um, you know, you'll see him on, on his climb to 9k, he was winning game PL mid all the time. Like, this guy just picks weird heroes as long as it fits the scenario and plays them extremely well. Much. The battle begins. Expected. So, this is final pick as well, ATN. Right. Top lane. Both the four. Uh, anyway, that double. So, expect this uh, for a rough time up. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't really think there's that much the other lord can do. Yep. Uh, the slaughter is starting mid. I think the slaughter expected the bounty hunter to be here. Maybe. All right, so they're actually starting the bounty hunter down bottom. A pile die around mid. Kind of interesting. Um, they have dropped a sentry though. Also for this. Yeah, so I, I wonder if AT expected the bounty to start mid or bottom. But regardless, they are putting a walloping onto this uh, Dazzle Luna lane, which is you know, a pretty strong lane in its own right. But not a lot of kill potential between the heroes. They kind of need the slaughter to actually threaten kill on this. Them. Kind of chip them down a little bit. But has the four main shield, so it's pretty, pretty okay with getting you know right click here and there and working towards the level two, the bounty hunter. Stopping some of his XP, but you know, already up to uh, two CS. Not the uh, not the biggest deal in the world. It's some harass here and there. KZ is definitely fine with this one. See, there's well a bit of an awkward tour in uh, Pilot Eye just playing. And, uh, in fact, for a potential wraparound onto mid one, and, uh, he will hit the crush, uh, but, but that'll be that. Blow up. Yeah, Pilot Eye just pushing up. Taking a little bit of XP here and there. Hasn't actually skilled anything yet, so... I guess just, you know, pro providing some moral support to mid one. Like, just having that hero there makes the Slaughter a little bit more cautious about harassing the Naga or being a uh, nuisance. And the Wind Ranger, you know, it doesn't really have to get too much done here, as long as you know, he's oh. keeping this Evoker to play a little bit back. Oh, fate. The bounty rune's back. Oh, he's gonna take the haste too. Is Kakor gonna cr crush? Oh, I should crush. Oh, that's a, that's a... Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna go run all the way up to the top and get the third bounty rune. That'd be hard. Alright, we'll be able to nap that if it will turn there half of the map. Uh, looking at the side of the moment, so what we see, Kezzy? Bit of a farm down here. Getting simple CS. That of exotic deer, so good for Kezzy. Top lane, 10 for 1 on double G, 8 for 4 on MP. I mean, double G taking a bit of the, the heavier damage, but said and done. Been able to stand up to the Timbersaw pretty all right here in the early levels. Yeah, and I think the early levels, he, he has a pretty nice time. Uh, you know, hits for you know, 95, the Timber only hitting for tier 50. So it's not the easiest to CS in the world for the Timbersaw. But once he hits the level 4, uh, we'll see sometimes the Timber Cells go for 2 points in the queue. Uh, you get the Arcane Boots up and running, he has the 2 mangoes, and you start spamming 
the nuke on yeah. this guy non-stop and it's really really hard for him to deal with. So he does just go for the one point in the queue, I think it's fine. Um, but you know, it's a, he's a timber stick hero that you can't really harass, and you know, Thunder will just sit here and hit you all day, and the timber will just plank you with his 50 damage right over time, he's gonna build up, he gets to level 6, and then you can barely stay in the lane anymore. Mid lane pipe, and puppy damage to the wraparound, Shaco show up to set things up. Gank down. Yeah, nice Shaco from Pi, but... Dive and... Yes, wise we can certainly see. Very good time. Twenty-one for six against the nine for four. I mean, you said there was an edge. Uh, is it expected to be that much? Uh, it's a little bit skill based on the invoker's part. Naga, it's, it's pretty simple. If the invoker is really, really good at last hitting, uh, you can potentially do a little bit better than this. But it's, it's very, very hard to deal with. You know, just farming shield heroes in general. Naga has especially high armor and all the illusions without having, you know, any kind of nuke. Uh, they, they just sort of sit there and they add to the last thing power. You don't know which one's which. You spend the whole wave just right-clicking illusions trying to find the real Naga and aren't able actually able to harass the real Naga. Down. Still there. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Wow. The power shot. That's a point low. Yeah, he's gonna grave himself just at the last moment. Shackle comes through. Is he gonna catch him? But in fact, Puppy, he's got the illusion chasing down on him. That will do the job. He'll get the kill. Turn though. So it's here and Shackle looking for the bounty hunter with the sunstrike coming through. We'll get the kill in return. For a sport. Third and pilot. The neighborhood. Level three at the moment. We're holding on to that other point now. We'll actually skill the wind run to make it back in the act. Okay, you find anything to shackle shot, won't connect, but they have the new stop. Shallow Grave, of course, still on cooldown, so Seek will be able to get themselves a second kill overall. That engagement down. Yeah, and at the very least, uh, sort of a bright spot for ATM. Luna is having a pretty decent time farming down here. It is, you know, pretty close to Luna. I mean, the, the Naga Siren, just a little bit behind. But with getting the kill on the bounty hunter, it's, it's right about on par. Uh, I think what, what alternate attacks is, is most worried about is how rough of a time this Underlord is having. The Timber saw is starting to pull away, kind of had to leave to the jungle and the Underlord a little bit. And it's not really what you want, whenever you have these 1v1 lanes, you, you, you know, you'd like to be able to trade farm, right? Because it's one hero versus one hero, but... In a matchup, just this crazily lopsided for the Timber saw. He can walk up and he can nuke this, but... Unless he's getting lucky CS from the, you know, Radiant's the pit lord Q killing these creeps. He really can't come near at all, and MP just doesn't take damage from these creeps. He can do whatever he wants, and when he's up, he can even stand under the tower and start pressuring this tier 1. Double G. Just gonna straight up rip back on. Goes for the quick way out. Bang. Trouble protection. Forward. Whoa. Cancel. Uh, so mid one, I mean, he's having fun in the net, but he has these eight. And Nisha, gonna be okay, they don't have the detection. But he does have a sentry actually, so he comes to help them out. He's already out of there. He's uh, gotta get away with his life. Top lane, here's the trouble you really did talk about. MP looking to get a solo kill onto Double G. And that is a straight up demonstration of how well this timber can yeah, and it doesn't really get better as the game goes on. You can kind of do some things in the game with the roots. Uh, potentially if the Luna and the Invoker get online, the Cold Snap can pair pretty well with the root and Thunderlord Q. But by that stage, the, since the Timbersaw has such a nice lane, he gets to the Yule, he gets to that Hood. Um, so you don't really care too much about the those things. I think with this game as well, the Lotus Orb is going to be extremely good. He's probably going to go for that reasonably early on. And it'll just be so tanky. You have so much armor and alternate attacks. Their damage... Our heroes can be pretty high with this physical damage, but Radiance if you get a couple of plate mails, we've seen in the past Timber Souls sometimes just stack plate mails. Uh, and whenever you're, you know, all sort of all in on this physical and you're behind, it's not really too much you can do. Gee, about forward, while I die, he gets a shackle. More than ample opportunity to damage out to bring out. Playing it careful. Coin helps. Out this area, I think. Where the pipe. 
Bam, I see double. Jungle. Go to the way Midas. Yes. To the uh, cause and evil side. Very close. Oh, the mid lane. Mid lane is where the real different. Yeah, and a lot of those have been jungle too. They want to get out of the jungle. It's kind of the point where it comes up. And the Dazzle's come in, but he doesn't actually have enough mana for the Shallow Grave. Oh, and uh, he is going to send him the Grave down as well. So Strike isn't going to can't find a kill of turn. There's just a bit of a miscalculation there for the Dazzle. Trying to come in and help out. Have the mana to yeah, and he is so poor in this Dazzle. He has two obs, a sentry, and a, uh, a smoke. No boots. Got uh, a very, very sad Radiant net worth. Times here for the Dazzle. At least he's got a few levels. He's got that level so Something. Yeah, actually going for the hood first on MP Spiegel with the Arcane Skull, and then immediately the hood. So, any potential. Uh, alternate attacks have of uh, maybe rotating this Luna up here and looking for a kill, uh, and then you know possibly pressuring the tower afterwards is sort of nullified by this with the extra region as well. MP sitting at 33 armor, 44 HP regen, uh, as well as that extra magic resist. Underlord Q is will typically immediately turn around heroes and pushing. MP doesn't even care about. It. He just stands here. And be actually right now. Yeah, be a little bit careful. He's out in fact, that's a little bit close gap with the crush. And the pop takes it straight up trying to oh. kill him and they'll get him. First him down, attack. I think that's a good heal bomb there as well if they Dyer's surrounded him. Take down the timber saw. DM will be able to find a tier one off the back of that play as well. Yeah, MP maybe getting a little bit over aggressive. They find the kill there, but I don't think Secret are too picking up about that as a meanwhile, mid one is just farming jungle. Radiant's gonna get probably a 11-12 minute relic on Naga and a mid Naga. What a lot of Dyer's people think of is, oh, it's yeah. pun of punishable. Attack. You know, you can collapse on it, you can gank her, but you know, we have whenever you have such a nice landing stage, your other lanes are putting in so much pressure that you really can't leave with those other towers. So the Naga gets free to do whatever she wants, and it's gonna be mega pain for. It's gonna be a nightmare. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Okay. Chapel. There. Got that level 6 now as well. Tracks out. Hi. Careful, Sunstrike. He's gonna get it. I think we'll take it. Fight down. He's already did try to get in there. Final beam. Okay, he's Kezu in. Forces. Fine. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Stab people forward. Reposition and they're just looking for the big kill. They'll take down the Luna. King extra would be a nice bonus, but they won't be too fussed if they don't get it. MP has come across as well. They're ready to move. Dyer's WG has already used the rift. No chance for that one. He actually tries a TP spell there. He's going to get countered by the capital shot. The bounces from the Shuriken and the double damage as well from Kezu. Gives themselves a third. Two cores and a support. Three trap kills. Tower to boot as well. Secret getting the big plays done. And all three of their cores. Top of the net worth board now. Yeah, and that play Secret made, you'll see a lot of you know, a lot of the better teams make where they will just say, oh, they're pushing mid, and you know, people will say, I have keeping, uh, you know, I can come in and keep defending tower. They, they get set up there. Puppy just stands up in the front, he tracks somebody, he throws a shirt, and he's just standing there, he pulls the tower off the, you know, off the, 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 the creeps off the tower. Highlight Dai stands there, he starts shooting people, you know, power shotting all over the place. Mid one comes over, and they, they're just gonna fight there. They're not gonna let you take this tower for free. They are going to stand there, or they're going to defend it, and they're going to try and fend you off. And if you're persistent in standing there, then they'll just kill you. And I, I also like how mid one, he song, and uh, right after they got the kill, he just walked back to the jungle. He didn't even yeah. come and to the fight. I didn't want to waste time chasing. Just, uh, yeah, wants to continue. Really, really incredible timing on the 13 minutes. You entered away from the complete aggressive. Not me. ATM. Having family goes. Whatsoever, Kezu coming in. Three man blink, boot stomp. 
Jackal shot. That seems the Luna to her own purge creep. The Brave will be there in time for the chase downs there from Secret. Exotic Deer does get the ultimate off, bringing Kezu down low. And in fact, I took them out. Exotic Deer finally goes down. But they do lose two in return here, Secret. ATN finding the two heroes in return for the one. Puppy, get anything in? It's the MP. Put that one on the back line. We can the G. He's got some sick charges. He's got to keep alive to put something back in. Isha looking towards MP with the amplifier on him. Oh, he is solo. Careful for him. Kills and... Away for six. Get back. But of course, did get the Luna, which is the hero that they're happy shutting. Heroes of hero kills away in the turn. Every coin Find anything that are out of it. Straight down to the bottom. Oh, they get Exotic Deer again. Ooh. See him with that ward. Yeah, they know exactly what's up. But the scam from the Radiant, they know that Puppy's there. They know there's heroes there. Exotic Deer is still sticking. In fact, he's walking straight into where they just scanned. That's yeah, pretty greedy. I don't know about this. They've just had a successful scan on that spot. And he's stuck around. And he may be taken down if this Dazzle can't get here in time. But Crush will hold him back. And Exotic Deer is actually going to be all right. The backup was there from the side of ATN. Towards MP. Puppy trying to get out of here. For the new stop. Dampy just works to try and save his teammates. Do so, ATN. He's going around trying to fight a shackle from Pi, though, to hold back the big ladder. Now, Luna does survive there. Very risky play, though. Yeah, mid one in the meanwhile, just farming up all these jungle camps. Nice to go. Up to 1k gold after finishing the Radiance, just to go. And it's only going to accelerate from here, especially since they've taken these two tier 1 towers, he has access to alternate attacks jungle, not just his own, so play up, they're cutting these waves a lot earlier than you normally see, all of a sudden here, just clean up all those last hits. I don't think anyone's too sad about that, so it spawns another illusion, and... No, just gonna, gonna start farming out everything. Cross. They they really want this mid tower. This is like the third time they've kind of all just sort of walked towards it, but the first time did not work very well. Secret brought everybody there. They're not going to get greedy. They're not going to try and keep people farming in these silly places. Instead, they're just going to bring everyone there. They're going to fight, and they're not going to be The second time, same thing happened. And now they're they're kind of wary, and they know they have the rain. Song is online. It's so hard for alternate attacks to to make any move. Yes. It's very, very difficult. I mean, they do have ways, I mean, things online. So they, they've got ways of catch. So hard and start it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Top lane. Still. Good. Both. And a half behind mid. Loading to the gills. Showing. Up. Right up. That's a track. Yeah, I mean, mind games. Uh, mind games. Well, I get mine, I die. Mind games is too big to test. Yeah, I'll go by the win range. Yeah, off of that, they'll probably actually get too low currently. And, and off of that, they may be actually too you know, like, off of that, uh, possibly because they don't have bottom tower, although both of their waves are just so they don't really have a place to go up to this, they'll have to try and find some scrappy fights or walk back from what they're down and probably down to the back, but speaker in the meantime, they're not gonna let the dogs lie. Radiance top it was still on Timber. Luna. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Pass. Radiance top tower is under attack. They want to make that jump. That's the kill. Back him up. 
Was gonna be a little late with that crap. Very, very close. Fine with doing that. Here and there. The fact that all these planes are always in because Naga constantly give them They always have the song to back them up. So Naga can see a big fight that's gonna be happening. Supports him with Korea again. Only expected Korea to run away and fight with off. Of the early, they find the timber saw kill in return. They burst him down with the crush and the heal bomb. So. Kezu sort of back up to have map. Midpoint is turning up to this round. Boy, this is gold. Bomb. Go off it out of control. Like siren. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Damage. One. First one. Taking the tower. He's gonna play the same close, don't you? A little scary for AT. Shit again. He's shown. Be across. Can't control it. Just put something in there. Copy's there. Got the tracks, this one has that movement in the map. This one just goes back in, wow. turns in, takes down the Underlord. Puppy on the new side of the track, follows the Shackle. Won't have enough damage to dispatch with the Invoker. Puppy will get back out. Shackle coming in, but the rest of the team not in a position to help us. They themselves have already started to back off. A bit of an ambitious initiation there from the Slardar. The Shackle set up, allow Kezu to come in. Could mean they get another. The Dazzle is dead. In fact, holds the turn around. The great puppy came out from the eclipse. Dampy, they really want to try and finish off this Luna with the power strip coming in. And the Shackle got yet again from five. They will control him. Take him down. There's a stop under the tower, though. Will go down in response. Nisha hits the cold snap. He's out of the pilot diamond was still sticking around. It's a scrappy fight. MP's now turned up, though. Good cool. Going on to five. The two coming across as well. Give off and they fall. Look at the Wind Ranger. He bursts down the Dazzle low. Himself alive with the Grave. And the Kitchen Rat. MP now surrounded by four. Dazzle smokes just to get himself the hell out of there. What else to do here? And not a lot by the looks of him. He's tanking. He's incredibly tanking. And he's just got to be careful that burns down to the Naga Illusion. Nisha not Double keeping an eye on his well. elf, and Midpoint, he burns down another. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looked like it was kind of coming together there for ATN. Radiant's but at the end of it all... Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. End up being the case there. Shambles and more money the back for Midpoint. Yeah, already has the Manta at 21 minutes. They they have so many ways to fight now. They always have this song to reset, so if there's ever a bad looking fight, they want to pop the Eclipse, they can song. And reset with a song and pop it on top. Oh, Link, new stop. It's starting to get very messy, very dirty for ATN. It's under attack. Crips and their blood. First to lose these two towers versus Anaga, then the lane cutting begins, especially with this Manta online gonna be trapped in your base and when you're an invoker, you're a Luna, you're an Underlord, those are your three cores, you really want to be having an early start, you want to eat down these towers, you five manning on the map, but their lane just really didn't allow them to do that. The Naga Siren had such a start that now the lane crush is gonna be too much for the hand. Oh, oh, you can show this one. Another pick. There's more track out into the pocket. Certainly starting to go in the direction that I think a lot of people have anticipated coming. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Very, very strong. Yeah, very tough time. 
Yeah, I think a lot of people expect the to be the past his favorite. I had a few shaky games to start, but it really turned up after that. Yeah, I think overall the secret. Radiant Tower is under attack. Yeah, I think so. They they consistently perform quite well. They have very strong grasp. I think this bounty hunter pick is sort of a hero of the battle of the other team. That uh that sort of gives Secret uh, almost a little bit of a drafting advantage. Don't play spirit. It's like that is a hero that just always goes on touch uh in higher degree to play. Almost to that effect that you sort of this here that you kind of always have to ban it. If you let it through, then help you just. Try to play around with the mid But there's one to sleep to make sure the time's there for the back of the center. As you think out, Radiant's burn, bringing him down. The shackle from Pi is out. Get another at the same time, though, Kelly did end up falling down to a Kathoran exotic deer. They did commit the eclipse for that kill. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Turn as well as the focus kill. Yep, has the control of assault now. So it's very, very good again. Mm -hmm. It's the anti for it both goes off. And it's very easy to train away. Especially just from getting the regen, the armor from the Plate melt, the Lotus Sword is just good on Timber Saw and especially for this. I don't know, I don't know what the plan was there. Started. Tried to TP Trey out, but. Over your head. That was that. Maybe he was hoping he was gonna. Maybe. Maybe that could be so. Hey, Bomb. Just don't be. Yeah, it's there. They're, they have higher on defense. They have the Luna, they have the Wonder. So it only becomes a, a good high ground defense hero when they're so strong that they can't really contest to you. They like, bounce around on their wave, start killing heroes, and you know, they, their wave just dies really quickly and it turns them to high ground. But whenever you're this far behind, you're just trying to leave your whatever farm you can. They can't even just walk into the base, possibly with a song, set up with a stomp, blow up the Dazzle, blow up another hero, and then just the racks after they killed some of these. Set up. Good tornado to hold back the big range there. Same piece of slide, but check down the ice cream. I find there to hold back high that zone is a lockdown. Blessings upon a loyal war. I actually really get a kill in Packer. Oh, oh. Yeah, and Sonic did charge for the TP. Yeah, this time it's Kezu with the Yorkie Capsule. And uh, playing around with him in it. Yeah, it's Puffy. And he put the trap back on Pullen. They wanted to try to get the trap killed, but that ended up meaning they don't get the kill straight oh. off the bat. Highlight Dino with the Shackle, setting up for Kezu to jump forward. Secret will get the kill at the end of the day. Quite some style as well. And it's, we've seen a couple of games, haven't we, where Pyre's just had a great performance. Oh, we're made. Thanks to Pyre, more teams are going to try doing this, or is, is this just a secret speciality that can't just emulate? You've got to know what you're doing. Oh, no, I, I think uh, I think the a hero that a lot of the better team. Uh, it sort of plays the same role as Call of the War, like let's very strong dual lanes, but also a lot of one super one side. I think this is a lot of strong. Lord tries to dark rift out, but the damage is too much just before the dark rift is successful. Oh, Twenty. Similar levels to to the GM so far. Maybe not quite the 90. Yes, about the 800 miles. That up a nice kick number 27. Medians middle. So share all the learning the free line. Yeah, and that one's gonna. 
guy rocking and they can't really defend the base because one they're supposed to walk up to the high ground. Otherworld is dead for now. Spawn can really be able to spawn and stall for a little bit. So tanky. Okay, he has only have the damage. That's very close to full. Three, even again, these lower tier teams play very methodical. They're gonna they make sure they can throw away. Don't make this game flash on it. Or give them any shot back in the game. Brian threaten the base whenever they've gotten their lanes in, whenever they've gotten a pick off, or you know, had that opportunity to really score a set up the defense. For ATM, Chet trying to best to find what he can. Bottom. And, you know, with minus, he's himself on par with the Timber. But uh, certainly not up to how that mid one. Radiance bottom. Really got to put a plug in lead. That stage. Every coin helps. Have AoE, they've got magical, but down. It's a good D player saying it's the player. It's time to take that number. Yeah, Butterfly, Radiant, Samantha, Octarine, and Boss, Avius. At 30 minutes on the Naga, so strong, yeah. and you don't have the heals. Kill this, killing already. Boss, good. Marshall's working the base, I think. Plus, he's really playing for Now. Maybe. Maybe sequel, bro. Well, it's unlikely. Seconds does have a buyback. Self alive. Very hard push to the. Yeah, he almost had a nice little cheeky play on the invoker. That had to in time for the the blink in his backpack and then pulled it back out because he was earned. So he oh, spam so blink and then flipped yeah. the trees. Uh, unfortunately, then he came off the wall. Highlight the play. Yeah, the Naga was quite low on mana as well, so they, they don't want to risk anything for the call it mirror image for the event to come back up. They don't have full mana, they just come back to the stage. That puppet, they popped the Eclipse, but Pi, which is just even 
for the mini stun of the shackle that's flat, it's enough to hold back the sleep as you try to make it go with the champion was there as well, of course. The equipment go down. Takes away the avoid it. Takes away what little hope they had of potentially taking the fight. It's just really all in on Secret's mistake. They're getting over aggression based on the way Secret has been flying. So it's very likely to happen. About to die, we'll get to win this hit. More shackle shot. And there's the GG, ATN tap out. Good luck, well played, further it's win. They find the castle in their secret. They get themselves another win. Out of the belt. ATN has the power to down a line to the end. Get secret. Not having a chance. Mid one. Incredible.